Hello everybody and welcome back to the ASUS North America YouTube channel. Uh, this is JJ and we've got something really special for you this time around. As you guys know, we love to bring you guys the latest and greatest and that is the brand new uh, ASUS NVIDIA GTX Titan graphics card. So, uh, with that, let's go ahead and dive a little bit more into Titan itself as well as take a look at what comes included with uh, GTX Titan. Okay guys, so here we have the actual box for the GTX Titan. And of course at the bottom we have all the classic specifications. So, uh, so this big buffer VRAM right here is really optimized for high resolution, multi-panel, uh, 3D based gaming. On top of that of course we've got uh, DirectX done right in terms of NVIDIA's architecture. You've got awesome uh, API support in terms of DirectX 11.1, which would be for you guys that are, of course, running on Windows 8. You've got all those key things, you know, like tessellation, ambulant occlusion, uh, you know, depth of field, and all the cool stuff you're looking there. Of course, if you're running one of the newer generation architectural platforms, uh, like X79, Sandy Bridge E, or Ivy Bridge, uh, along with Z77, you've got the PCI Express Gen 3.0, so for the best throughput. That's also nice, especially for you guys that might be considering the Titan for a GPU compute card and you can actually leverage that increase in bandwidth as well as the superior encoding. Uh, from there, of course, we come included with our GPU tweak software. That's our custom in-house developed software that allows you to go ahead and manage frequencies, voltages, fan profiles, and a number of other specialized functions that tie in specifically to the Titan. And we'll talk a little bit more about that once we actually get to the card. Um, outside of that, uh, from here, we're going to actually take a look inside the box and see what comes with the Titan. In terms of what we have included, we've got one, uh, the software utility. So that's going to be our GPU tweak software and the actual driver. Uh, you want to make sure to head over to support.asus.com for the latest version of the actual GPU tweak utility. That is very important. Uh, in terms of the graphics drivers, make sure to just head over to nvidia.com and you can download the latest GeForce driver as well as GeForce Experience. Um, in addition to that, of course, we've got our speed setup guide. That's just going to be a, a quick reference guide to let you know how to actually install, how to connect your graphics card and whatnot. And then from there, um, in the event that you need VGA, we've got a classic DVI to VGA base adapter. Okay guys, so you can see right here in front of me, we've got the star of the show. This is a brand new ASUS NVIDIA GeForce GTX Titan. So this is literally a supercomputer graphics card. Um, you know, we're talking actually 7.1 billion transistors. You know, a billion of anything is a lot, but this is actually a very serious card. Uh, when you consider that also we're using 2,688 CUDA cores uh, versus uh, the, the 1,500 odd CUDA cores that were in a GTX 680, this thing is going to blow 680s out of the water. And uh, when you factor in, of course, the multi-GPU scaling considerations of what the NVIDIA architecture has to offer, it gets even that much more interesting. Now, as you can see here, of course, the card does have uh, your SLI fingers, so that allows you to go ahead and take this card and put it into one configuration, two-way, three-way, or even four-way SLI. So that's quite impressive. Okay, so we can see uh, we've got the display outputs right here, and uh, we've got your classic configuration. So you've got your dual, dual-link DVI connections. Uh, this is what probably most of you guys are going to be utilizing. Then from there, we've got a full-size display port, and we've got a full-size HDMI. Display port, of course, is up to the most recent specification, so that means that supports a 3D as well as actually even up to 4K resolution. So for you guys that are interested in ultra-high resolution, uh, you know, uh, can't tell you what's going to be coming out, but make sure to stay tuned to the channel in the future. You're going to see some interesting stuff there. HDMI, of course, is the latest spec, so one once again, also supports greater than 1080p resolutions and 3D. Uh, and just like previous uh, NVIDIA-based architecture, you have full four-way multi-monitor support here. So that means you could run three panels in a surround or 3D vision surround configuration, as well as a fourth panel in an accessory mode. So a huge amount of display flexibility that you have here in terms of the display I.O. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the card and power connectivity. Okay, so the back of the card here has got a lot going on, but really the star of the show, of course, is all that memory that you see there, and that's that six gigabytes of frame buffer, and that really comes into play with the Titan is a powerhouse of a card that's really focused at being able to game at ultra high resolution. So we're not just talking about 2560 by 1440, but we're talking about three panel uh, resolution based gaming and being able to comfortably game at those resolutions in multi GPU configurations with all the image quality settings cranked up. So you're not going to be running out of memory anytime soon. Now, outside of that, there's really not too much to notice, but sometimes uh, you guys might wonder actually what these little guys right here on the back of the GPU might be. These are actually pause caps, and this is actually a nice sign to let you know uh, the power quality implementation that's actually on this graphics card. This is referred to as actually a back-to-back -back, uh, cap design. So we have these high-quality pause cap capacitors 
directly underneath the actual GK110 GPU or the Titan GPU and they provide a high level of power regulation directly to that GPU so when it's under load it has the best power delivery possible and that also of course helps that when we're looking to maybe overclock the card even get better performance uh, that, take cares, that takes care of us there. Uh, so from there let's talk a little bit about power connectivity. So you can guys see right here that you've got your classic PCI Express power connections. You've got one 6-pin and you got one 8-pin. The great thing about this is that a lot of times people don't talk about power efficiency when you're talking about an ultra-high-end graphics card. But the TDP is 250 watts. That means that this card is offering you obscene levels of graphics performance, but in a really tight power envelope. So that's going to actually give you a lot of flexibility when you consider integrating this into different types of systems. So from here, let's take a little bit uh, a look at the actual thermal assembly that we have here on the card and how that controls the card and also how that affects some of the gaming experience that you might have on this Titan. Okay guys, so you can see here that this is a, a classic blower type design, so that means that of course uh, we've got uh, this fan here. This helps to go ahead and actually uh, create airflow goes through the actual vapor changer fim design and helps to go ahead and exhaust the air outside of the chassis. Overall impressive thermal design with great acoustics. So with that, let's talk a little bit about where the GTX a Titan sits in terms of the landscape of when you're building and you're setting up a system. We're going to first take a look at an actual X79 Sandy Bridge E platform and then we're actually going to take out an awesome small form factor based solution uh, on Z77. Okay, so here we've actually got an awesome enthusiast board. This is uh, from our Republic of Gamers line. This is an X79-based solution, our Rampage 4 formula. So this is really focused at, for the guys that are looking for the best of the best, highest level of performance, you know, 12-core-based uh, CPU platform, quad-channel memory, you know, pretty much every bell and whistle that you would want when you talk about an ultra-premium gaming system. So it fits perfect with the actual performance capability uh, and the positioning for a GTX Titan. And also keep in mind that the multi-core architecture is also going to be very beneficial in a multi-GPU configuration uh, at really helping to maximize the best frame latency and minimum frame rate performance. Not just average frame rate, but minimum. Uh, now, of course, with Sandy Bridge E and with the GTX Titan, they kind of really go well together because, of course, you have the ability of running, of course, one single Titan. You could go in two-way SLI, you can go three-way SLI, or you could even go to four-way SLI. With that in note, there's also a whole other direction you could be talking about where if you're looking for maybe a more self-contained, smaller base footprint, but still ultra high performance, uh, we can take a look at a small form factor based solution. Okay, so you can see here, guys, we've got our P8Z77-I Deluxe. Uh, this is the, the beast of all mini ITX boards, pretty much the best of the best. You can see that uh, in and itself, it is a powerhouse in a small form factor designed very much so that the GTX Titan is, you know, ultra high-end performance, but in a small design. Uh, so for you guys that are interested in maybe having a more specialized aesthetic-based system, you know, maybe uh, you don't necessarily interested in having a portable gaming line. You just want a high-performance system, but in a small uh, package, but while all still keeping thermals, power efficiency, and acoustics in check to be a quiet and outstanding experience, um, this type of product and this type of integration is going to really be a great option, especially for you guys that uh, love Steam and you guys have been followers of things like big picture mode and things along those lines it's a perfect complimentary experience especially when you consider the level of gameplay performance that you have available to you when you match this titan with the pci express gen 3.0 a high performance part like a 3770k so from here let's go ahead and wrap things up give you a little bit of perspective about the lay of the land and how the gtx titan uh, fits in regards to everything else out on their market if you're somebody right now that is interested in looking at maximum image quality, you want to play the game the way that it looks like on the box or the way you see the screenshots from the game developer, Titan is the choice for you. If you're somebody that's playing at 2560 by 1440, if you're somebody that's playing on multiple panels, Titan is, is for you. If you're somebody that's looking to have the maximum level of flexibility in a graphics card design, whether that just not only means gameplay performance, but maybe you're also interested in having GPU compute, CUDA acceleration flexibility, the double precision engine in here, the amount of actual shaders and the CUDA architecture that's implemented in here, it's also for you. Um, when you really talk about the investments you're making with this card, it is going to be an expensive uh, product, but it's also going to allow you to have a level of performance and flexibility that is unmatched from a single GPU graphics card. Um, you know, I've been really impressed with this card. As you guys know, I get my opportunity to pretty much deal with every single type of product that there is on the market when it comes to the graphics card arena. And at ASUS, we're always excited about bringing this type of product. So, you know, I think that hopefully gives you a little bit better clarity in terms of if you're looking pretty much for the single fastest solution with a huge amount of flexibility of being able to integrate into different builds, looking for great thermals, looking for great power efficiency, 
great gameplay performance. Uh, and you combine that together, things like the GeForce Experience option where you can go ahead and, and automatically calibrate your games uh, to the actual graphics uh, settings for the actual graphics card without doing anything. Uh, you know, that all adds up to be a really outstanding experience. So as always, guys, if you know if you have any questions, comments, feedback, make sure to drop them here at the page. Uh, you can also make sure to hit us up at Facebook or Twitter. Make sure that you uh, hit us up there on our North American pages. And as always, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure and subscribe. So thank you.